Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with the Quill Editor. Our viewer wants to know how to make the Quill Editor field required when submitting a form. This is a crucial aspect for ensuring that users provide necessary input before proceeding. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. To make the Quill Editor field required, we first need to understand how to integrate it with form validation. Quill does not have a built-in required attribute, so we will implement a custom solution. Next, we will add an event listener to the form submission. This listener will check if the Quill editor is empty before allowing the form to submit. Inside the event listener, we will retrieve the content from the Quill editor and check if it is empty. If it is, we will prevent the form from submitting and display an error message. Finally, we can enhance the user experience by adding a visual indication of the required field. For example, we can change the border color of the editor when it is empty. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To make the Quill Editor required, you need to manually check if the content is empty. If it is, prevent form submission and show a message indicating that the field is required. You can copy the Quill Editor's content to a hidden input before submitting the form. This allows for proper validation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To make the Quill Editor required, you can create a custom form control. This involves using Quill's event handler to retrieve the editor's value. Additionally, you can implement a custom form validator. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To make the Quill Editor required, one user suggests using a hidden form field in Python. They check if the editor's value is empty and display a message if it is. The user notes that the empty submission from the editor returns a specific string, which is useful for validation. They conclude by wishing good luck and hope this solution helps others facing the same issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To make the Quill Editor required, you can remove specific HTML tags from the content. First, define the HTML tags you want to eliminate. Then, 
create a function that replaces these tags with an empty string. In the function, iterate over the tags and replace them in the input data. Finally, log the clean text to the console. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.